Vamos aproveitar o intervalo do seu podcast pra falar sobre K-pop. Preciso contar uma coisa pra vocês. Que você faz dancinha no TikTok? <risos> ah, isso não vai me surpreender. Mas o menu exclusivo do Mac com personagens do BT21 vai. Tem o novo Mac Crispy Chicken Cajun, molho Sweet Chili e Cajun e os personagens BT21 pra você levar pra casa. Opa, depois do programa eu vou lá no app pedir porque eu vi que os combos estão com frete grátis, né? Clica aí no banner e pede agora mesmo. É por tempo limitado. Vai! Next up on the Mutual Audio Network, fiction from our future. The following audio drama is rated G for general audiences. This episode is dedicated to the memory of our irreplaceable cast member and dear, dear friend, Victor Aurelius, better known to you as Crusher. The following program is rated U for universal audiences and is considered suitable for listeners of all ages. This is a presentation of Dream Realm Enterprises, where dreams are our reality. Robots of the Company! <laughs> You are listening to Robots of the Company, episode number 91, The Galactic Inspector, written by Jonathan Patrick Russell. for you today. I've just heard some news that may be of interest to you, B. Jason. Well, out with it, Harmony. No need to beat around the bush. I didn't get where I am today by beating around bushes, you know. Of course not, BJ. So then, tell me your news, Harmony. I heard, through the grapevine as it were, that we're to be visited by a galactic health and safety inspector. Gadzooks! Harmony, do you realize what this means? That the Galactic Council wants to be certain that this station is safe for the use of our visitors? Perhaps, but it means opportunity, Harmony. I didn't get Brian today without taking advantage of opportunities when they present themselves. Do you know what I mean, Harmony? Not exactly, BJ. In what way is news about an inspector coming to visit the station an opportunity? If I may ask, sir. You may well ask, Harmony, and I may well tell you. But first, computer! At your service, BJ. What can I do for you tonight? Computer! You don't sound like yourself today. What gives? I'm oh, just trying on a new voice and personality. No biggie, BJ. Just roll with it. Roll with it? Now you're speaking my language. Gotcha, computer. Right. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Computer. I wanted to get Pierre up here to my office on the double. As you wish, BJ. He'll be here momentarily. Good. See that he is. Come in. You wanted to see moi, BJ? I wanted to see you, Pierre. Well, moi is here, BJ. Forget this moi, fellow Pierre. This is serious, and I didn't get where I am today without being serious. Do we speak the same language? I'll read you loud and clear, BJ. What can I do for you? Harmony here tells me that a galactic inspector is coming here to Camden Port. 
Kadzooks, BJ. Precisely. Do you smell opportunity the same way I do, Pierre? I think so, BJ. I know just what you mean. Excellent. I knew I could count on my chief concierge. Right. I want you to ensure that our inspector is treated like the VIP that he is. Um... I should point out that my contact at the Galactic Council's office didn't specify if the inspector was male, female, or even human or bot. It could be a cyborg for all I know, BJ. A good point to bring up, Harmony. Uh, if we don't know if the inspector is male, female, or otherwise, well then, how will we know when the inspector arrives? How will we know who to look for, BJ? Oh, come now, Pierre. Inspectors are always pompous, arrogant windbags. I would think you would recognize a pompous, arrogant windbag when you see one. Ah, uh, you recognize my grand intelligence. Thank you for your confidence in me, monsieur. Stay on script, Pierre. I'm BJ, remember? The boss around here. The big cheese. The brains of the operation. The oil that keeps the gears of industry afloat. The sauce that makes this pizza nail-biting. A basic fact I would think you'd have gotten by now, Pierre. Of course, BJ. I do apologize. Good. Right. I expect you to handle this situation for me, Pierre. As only you can. So I am putting this entire station under your direct control through the duration of this operation. Understood? Um, the station under my complete control during the operation? I believe that's what I just said. And I say what I mean, and I mean what you heard. Are we a bit slow on the uptake, Pierre? Because I didn't get where I am today by being slow on the uptake, did I, Harmony? No, BJ. Of course you didn't. Exactly. Do we understand one another now, Pierre? Well, yes, BJ. Of course, BJ. I do understand, and I will not let you down. At last, this is the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head, Pierre. I didn't get where I am today by letting things go to my head, you know. Of course not, BJ. You can count on moi. Who? Not this moi business again. Shoot straight, mister. English. I meant me, BJ. You can count on me. I'm your butt. Good. I was hoping you'd say that. Now, get on with the operation. By that I mean, make sure you manage to keep the inspector very happy, Pierre, or else. Dismissed! Alright, stuff. We've learned that a galactic inspector is coming to Camden Port to give us a once-over. Is the inspector sexy? Uh, uh, I don't know. Besides, that's an inappropriate question. Who said that? Merde. Right, anyway, I expect everyone to be on their very best bit. Is the inspector green? But I, I don't know. I mean, what difference does it make? I withdraw the question. Oh, well, good. Okay, then. Is the inspector... An amoeboid anthropod? <laughs> I don't think any such being exists. So quiet in the back. This is serious. And I expect you to take it all seriously. All of you. Every inch of me will take this matter seriously, sir. I promise. Especially my good bits. <laughs> right. Well, you'd better take this seriously, because BJ has put me in control of this station. So that means I'm in charge of, well, everything. You can't be serious. Oh, boy. Oh, crackers. As my papa would say, man, no way. Oh, no. Oh, s***. Oh, lay. <laughs> no, pipe down. I know you don't like the sound of that, but you'll get used to it. Well, you just have to lump it at any rate, like it or not. I expect you lot to be on your very best behavior. Now, we're going to start by cleaning this station from top to bottom and back again. Understood, Briscoe? zippity doo Understood, my cleaning unit is ready, willing, and able, Pierre. Well, is that better be? How much cleaner can this station get? I mean, it's brand new. That's middle management for you. Middle management? Pierre is hardly that. More like lower ineptitude, if you ask moi. <laughs> <laughs> I like this little ice pick guy. Quiet back there. I expect you lot to take this situation seriously. Understood? Oh, 
sure. We're taking this as seriously as it deserves. All right, that's enough of that tomfoolery. Listen, you've all been given a list of duties. I expect them to be carried out. And I'll be watching you to make sure every item on those lists is completed. Oh, and in charge you didn't hear or understand earlier, I am in charge. Moi. Moi? Who's he? A dicky bird? Moi, 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 moi. Oh, shut up back there. May we be dismissed now, sir? Well, I said as much, didn't I? Well, as it turns out, uh, no, sir. Ah, I see. In that case, we oui, dismissed. Attention, attention, I have an announcement. Ship arrival, ship arrival. We have a ship arriving right now, guys, and it's so pretty. It's a galactic star bus designated SB1138. This could be it, guys. Keep on your toes. All right, I'm leaving this in your hands, Butch. And you'd better not let me down, got it? Uh, of course, Pierre. No worries. Well, I do worry, so beep, beep, get to it. Right. I mean, yes, sir. I mean, right away, sir. Good. Well... What are you waiting for? Oh, nothing, sir. I I'm off, sir. You certainly are, Administrator Butch. I beg your pardon, sir? Oh, forget it. Just get on with it. And if you discover who the inspector is, contact me right away. Yes, sir. As, as you say, right away, sir. <laughs> Just look at this place, Ethel. Isn't it magnificent? Eh, I've seen better. Oh, come on. It's fantastic. If you say so, Ginger. Greetings, Lady Bots. I am the administrator here at the Camden Port. Welcome. May I be of assistance today? Great. A fauner. I beg your pardon? Just ignore her, Administrator Putch. She's in a mood, and not a very good one at that. Eh, hey, Ethel? I don't know why you say that. I'm in as good a mood as I'm ever in. Oh, please overlook my spouse. We're on our honeymoon, and she doesn't like... Well, anything. He doesn't need to know everything, Ginger. Just let the poor bot do his job. Maybe he'll be so kind as to find someone to show us to the bridal suite, since that's where we'll be staying. Oh, all right. Dinky, come here. <laughs> How may I be of service, Administrator Putch? Dinky, please show this nice couple to the bridal suite. It's the honeymoon, so let's make them feel welcome and happy. Okay? <laughs> oh, I love it. Newlyweds. <laughs> I'll be happy to escort you bots to your suite. <laughs> and if you need anything, just anything at all, <laughs> you only need to ask. <laughs> we only ask for you to take us to our room. Please. Right this way. <gasps> oh, sorry. No problem. <laughs> Excuse me. Can you kindly point me towards the bar and lounge area? Oh, uh, certainly. Just turn left, go straight down the corridor, until you see a set of green doors. And you'll be sure to spot it. Most kind. Thank you. Excuse me, Tubby. Uh, are you referring to me? Oh, that's right, honey. I'm talking to you. Oh, well then... In that case, uh, 
How may I be of service today? You can start by telling me your name, Sugar. Well, it's not Sugar. My name is Administrator Putch. That's a strange name for a bot. No, it's just Putch, but I'm the administrator on board this station, so... Look, how, how may we have helped today, uh, Mr. Rob? Uh, Miss, uh... Bless your little pea-picking heart. <laughs> it's just Vegas, honey. And you're really starting to annoy me. I am looking for the owner and proprietor of the Club Fantastic. Where may I find this person or bot? You'll find the Club Fantastic in the bar lounge area. Turn left, go down the corridor, and when you come to the green doors, simply go through them. You'll find it, I assure you. Oh, I'd better, Sugar, or you'll hear about it. I promise you. <laughs> We got a live one. What do you mean, Butch? You mean you know who the inspector is? I have a pretty good idea. Did you guys see that bot you just passed as you were coming in? I mean, I assume it was a bot. I, I can't be sure. Uh, you mean the one dressed up kind of fancy? Looked a bit too flamboyant to be an inspector, if you ask me. Plus, that particular individual was carrying an awfully large case. Well, I suppose an inspector needs a lot of equipment to, uh, you know, uh, inspect, right? I don't know, boss. Yeah, I kind of doubt that was the inspector. Any other likely candidates so far? Well, there was this couple of newlyweds that came through, and, uh, well, one of them was pretty bossy and demanding. I suppose she could be the inspector. Her name is Ethel. And I had Dinky escort them to the bridal suite. Bridal suite? Newlyweds? Maybe that was just a cover. Undercover inspectors traveling around in tandem? You really think that's likely? Sure. Why not? I mean, who would suspect them? Uh, Betty makes a good point. Uh, sounds like the perfect setup to me, boss. Maybe I better report this to Pierre. What do you guys think? That's up to you, Putch. Uh, sounds like a good idea, boss. Hmm. Right. I'm gonna talk to Pierre. You guys hang out here, and be sure to greet the rest of the guests. Sure thing, Putch. We're on it, boss. I just wanted to chime in and say that I think every bot on board this station is doing a fabulous job. Carry on with your day, guys. Toodles. And you're sure these are the ones? Sure, I'm sure. Shh, keep your voice down. Sorry. Yeah, I'm fairly certain these two are the inspectors. How certain? 100%? 90? 80% certain? Well, it's hard to put a number on it. I, I'd say I'm, uh, well, uh, reasonably certain. I'll kill you. You came to me and said you were convinced that these two were the ones. I think I said I was pretty sure they might be the ones. <sighs> Are you certain or not? We need to be 100% certain, Administrator Butch. How very jobs are on the line. Okay, I get it. Shh. Would you keep it down? Sorry. Now, how certain are you? I must know. Okay, okay. I, I, uh, very reasonably, sort of, almost, kind of positive that these two are the inspectors. Uh. Oh, no. Here they come. Well, what are we going to do? Shh. First, we're going to be quiet. Quiet, calm, and collected. Oh, okay. I'll try, and then what? We're going to follow them. We are? Follow them around the station? Are you sure that's wise, sir? Yes. Now shut up and come on before they're out of sight. Uh, do we have to do this now, Ginger? Of course, Ethel. I want to fill out this form, and I can't do it until I've seen the shape of their restrooms. So come on, let's get it over with. Exactly, let's get it over with. Well, come along then. Did you hear that? I knew they were the ones. Right, they went in there. I saw. Now what? Well, uh, let me think. Um, mm, ah, I've got it. You follow after them. In there? Me? But but I I can't. Why not? I've given you a direct order, mister. But but that's the Fembot's restroom. I can't go in there. Alright, look. 
You're a senior member of staff, correct? Well, yeah, but... So you have every right to go into any room on this station if you deem it necessary, right? Well, uh, I suppose so. But, but, but I'm not going in there. Not alone, anyway. Fine, fine, we'll both go. And we'll find out exactly who and what they are. Come on. Excuse me. What? Who? I mean... Oh. Uh, bonjour. How may we be of help? Were you two just about to go into the Fimbot's restroom? Uh, uh, well, uh, why would we do that? Um, that is to say, uh, yeah, well, um... But sh- why, uh, why, 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 uh, why were we sneaking into the Fembot's restroom? Uh, well, we weren't. We weren't doing that. Uh, we weren't doing that. Uh, n- nothing of the kind, in fact. No, we-, we weren't sneaking into the Fembot's restroom. We were, uh, be- uh inspecting it. Yeah, that's it. A good one. I mean, of course that's it. We are inspecting it, not sneaking into it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not convinced. That is to say, your story is not very convincing. What is all the noise out here? (sighs) Ethel, it's not really our concern now, is it? It is. If these bots were trying to sneak into the Fembot's restroom. Why is everyone preoccupied with the idea that we were sneaking into the Fembot's restroom? Especially when there is a very reasonable explanation. If there is, we're waiting for it. And please don't try to tell us you were about to inspect it. That's hardly believable. Well, fine. But but what business is it of yours, whoever you are? My name is Fulton. I'm a galactic health and safety inspector. And you've got a lot of explaining to do. Two, three, four, make them stand outside the door. Five, six, seven, eight. It's always fun to make them wait. Come in. Well, Administrator Putch, Pierre, do you mind explaining yourselves? It was his fault. It was his I fault. I didn't get where I am today by pointing the accusing digit. And besides, I don't care whose fault it is. I just want to know how you two imbeciles managed to upset the Galactic Inspector and nearly cost me my business license. I mean, can't you two tell the difference between a Galactic Inspector and two secret shoppers? Wait, secret shoppers? So he was lying. Fulton was a secret shopper all along. No, you idiot. Fulton was the Galactic Inspector. Those two honeymooners were secret shoppers for the Honeymoon Getaway Secret Shoppers Network. They're nobodies. Nothing. And you two decide to try and sneak into the Fembot restroom. Well, let me tell you something. I can guess what you're going to say, BJ. You didn't get where you are today by sneaking into Fembot restrooms. Am I right? No, that's not what I was going to say at all. In fact, I didn't get where I am today without sneaking into a few Fembot's restrooms in my time, but at least I was smart enough not to get caught doing it. So, you were wrong, weren't you? Oh, sorry, BJ. What were you going to say? Well, I was going to say that you were both fired. Oh, boy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please, no, BJ. I'll do anything. Yes, 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 I'll do anything. Please, just, just don't fire me. (laughs) Oh, get a grip on yourself, man. As I said, I was going to say that, but I've changed my mind. And I did get where I am today by changing my mind often. And do you know what I'm going to do with the two of you? No, BJ. Uh, What are you going to do with us? I'm scared now. Scared? I'm terrified. Well, you should be, because I'm going to... I'm going to send you both to counseling. (laughs) Oh, thank you, BJ. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for not fighting or killing me. uh, Wait. Counseling? Yes, counseling. Group. Therapy, to be precise, and I don't want to hear even one complaint out of either of you about it. Any questions? I have a question, BJ, if you don't mind, sir. Shoot from the hip. 
How did you manage to persuade the Galactic Inspector to let you off the hook? What other way is there to persuade a Galactic Inspector to let one off the hook? I bribed the chit out of him! <laughs> You have been listening to Robots of the Company, episode number 91, The Galactic Inspector, which was written by Jonathan Patrick Russell, and which starred, in order of appearance, Jonathan Patrick Russell as BJ, Stefania Linton Bond as Harmony, Angelique Bone as The Computer, David Alt as Pierre, Pete Lutz as Buzz, Jeff Niles as Zimtron, Joe J. Thomas as Putch, Deborah Adams as Dr. Betty, Gary Erickson as Lynx, Daryl Looney as Popsicle, Victor Aurelius as Crusher, Julia Eve as Boone, Kyle Bores as Briscoe, Angelique Bone as Ginger, Zeddy Chevron as Ethel, Paul R. B. C. as Dinky, Eric Howell as Fulton, the Galactic Inspector, and Jerry Kokich as Vegas. Robots of the Company theme tune was composed and performed by Sarah Finn. The incidental music was provided by Kevin McLeod. The post-production editor was Jeff Niles. The sound designer, script editor, producer, and director was none other than Jonathan Patrick Russell. The series, Robots of the Company, was created by Jonathan Patrick Russell, and the copyright is held by Dream Realm Enterprises. Any rebroadcast or reproduction of this program without the express written permission of Dream Realm Enterprises is strictly prohibited. Thank you for listening. We invite you to visit us on the web at dreamrealmsite.com. And if you'd like to email us with any of your questions or comments, you may do so at darkbuilding1 at yahoo.com. We were busy being carefully inspected during the making of this audiogram. The robots of the company will return for our usual holiday special. And this one is titled Scroogebot. And it's coming your way soon. So until then, this is the Creditor himself, as always, asking you to please stay tuned. This program is copyright 2019, all rights reserved, and is brought to you by Dream Realm Enterprises. The journey continues. Robots of the company, it's in the